I'm going to decide to buy only onion and potato. Both in positive integer kilogram. In such a way, the money left with them after the purchase will be insufficient to buy a full kilogram of either of these two vegetables. Right? So, onion price is 9. Potato price is 5. And he's buying some number of onions and some number of potatoes. Right? Remaining money left with him. So, 9x plus 5y is what he spends. With the remaining money, he cannot buy a full kilogram of either of these two vegetables. He cannot buy 1 kg of onion. He cannot buy even 1 kg of potato, which is cheaper. Or he has 100 rupees to go with. If this were 95, he can buy one more kilogram of potato. 94, he can buy one more kilogram of potato. 90, he can buy even onion. So this number is greater than 95. Could be 96, 97, 98, 99, even 100. He has nothing remaining. He spends everything. That's good. But it cannot be less than 95. It cannot be 95 or lesser because then he can buy one more of this. If all such permissible combinations of purchases are equally likely, what is the probability that Aman buys more onion than potato? What is the probability that he buys more? So 9x plus 5y. This 96, 97, 98, 99 or 100. I don't know which one. So I'm going to try for one solution. I'm going to say, hey, let this be 96. And we also know that both in positive integer kilogram. X is a positive integer. Y is a positive integer. How does this work? I'm looking for a multiple of 9 that ends in 6 or ends in 1. 9 fourths are 36. X could be 4. 36 gone. Remaining 60 y equal to 12. Nice. The moment I get one solution, I can get another one. I have to offset this 9x with that 5y. I increase x by 5, 9 into 5, 45, my total will increase. I decrease y by 9, 5 into 9, 45, my total will decrease. That should work. So x equal to 9, y equal to 3 should also work. 9 into 9, 81, 5 into 3, 15. Yes, it works. Subtract 9, add 5. 9 into 5, 5 into 9. One increases, other decreases, they cancel each other out. I find one solution, I can find another solution. But this is only for 96. I have to do for 97. So 4, 12, 9, 3 works. Both of them work. Now I do for 97. Let's do this. We've got a template. Let's attack this. 9x plus 5y equals 97. 9 into 3 is 27. So, y is 77, remaining 70, 14. I could add 5 to this, subtract 9 from this, 8, comma 5 will also work. 9 into 8, 72, 5 into 5, 25, that works. Nice. So let's do this. Now, we've got a template. 9x plus 5y equals 98. 9x, oopsie. 9x plus 5y equal to 99. 9x plus 5y equal to 100. Let's do 98 first. We're looking for a multiple of 2. x equal to 2. y equal to 18 goes off. 80 remaining 16. x equal to 7. y equal to 7. 14 into 7, 98. That works. x could be 1. y is 18, this works, 9 plus 90, x equal to 6, y equal to 9, works, 5, 9, 45, 6, 9, 54, it works, x equal to 11, y will go to 0, that's not possible, there will be at least 1, what do we have here, it should be um, x equal to 10, 90, y equal to 200, that works, subtract 5, add 9, 11 should work 45 plus 45. Lovely. So what do we have here? All of these are possible values. We told all of them are equally likely. Then what does the question say? What is the probability that Aman buys more onion than potato? More onion than potato. Onion is x, potato is y. So 3 comma 14, this won't work. This will work. 4 comma 12, this won't work. This will work. 2 comma 16 won't work. 7 comma 7 won't work. 1 comma 18 won't work. 6 comma 9 won't work. 
10 comma 2 won't work 5 comma 11 will work sorry 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 I think I've written this the other way around x should be higher than y both of these won't work 10 comma 2 will work 5 comma 11 will not work so these two won't work these two won't work that won't work only one on this side two more here three out of ten work three by ten Painful question. First, you have to solve and get onion price, cabbage price, and potato price. Then we'll have to understand that the total price of this combo of onions and potatoes is more than 95. 96 or higher. Then frame for 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Individually solve, get all 10 combinations. And then recognize that out of these 10, in 3, the onion price is more than the potato price. 3 out of 10, true.